So with Sergio Aguero leaving Manchester City at the end of the season, I've asked for all of your opinions in our YouTube community tab. And we're going to take a look at today where you think he's going to go next and who will be replacing him. Uh, first off, Mikhail Omala has said Romelu Lukaku. Wow. He said, maybe I don't know what United fans think about that one. I'm already sure it's down to United fans, <laughs> in all honesty. Lukaku plays for Inter, and if Manchester City want to buy him and he accepts it, it's not really much for United fans to say. Uh, I can't actually see this one happening, though. I know that apparently, you know, with, with reports that Haaland could be moving to Manchester City or elsewhere, that Lukaku is kind of a second option. I know he's a very good striker, and definitely Manchester United didn't get the best out of him, but Inter Milan are getting the best out of him. Would Lukaku move to then potentially have to settle into a new team? Maybe it doesn't work out in Manchester City, and then he's back at square one trying to find a team where he fits in again. I'm not so sure. Like, he, he obviously was at Chelsea where it didn't work out. Uh, went alone, very good to West Brom. It worked to Everton. It didn't work at United. It's now working at Inter Milan. I don't really see the need for him to move again. Um, and yeah, but as for the United thing, I'm not quite sure it's up to them, although they probably will be rather annoyed. Not as annoyed as when Carlos Tevez directly left United for Man City, but that's that. Uh, next up, Wow Zone has said they already have a replacement. By the way, I'm looking at my iPad down here. Um, they already have a replacement. Two, in fact. Gabriel Jesus and Ferran Torres. First off, Torres is a great, uh, great attacker. Can play across the line of the front three attacking positions, but definitely is more of a wide player. Um, certainly not a direct replacement for Aguero. Gabriel Jesus, though. Man, I'm, I'm torn. Sometimes I think, God, he's useless. He's definitely not fit to kind of be a backup to Aguero. And then other times he goes on good goal scoring streaks and you think he might just have it. My issue lies in the fact that there's no way you lose a club legend like Aguero. You lose a goal scorer like Aguero. You lose a player like Aguero and just don't replace him. Especially when you're Manchester City with so much money. I can't see them being like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. We'll just, we'll just, promote, we'll just promote Gabriel Jesus. Like, it's fine. We, we don't need to sign anyone else. There is no way that, especially in 2021, where clubs and fans absolutely love transfers, and having lost someone like that, and knowing that the second they don't score, the second they go through a little bit of a scoring drought, the team, it's so easy to just be like, you should have replaced Aguero, but you didn't do it. So there's no chance that they're just going to be happy with just one recognised striker in, in Jesus. I just, I just think there's no chance. Um, he could replace him in the team, but they're still going to sign somebody. Um, Janis Galanos has said, I think Lautaro or João Felix would make insane replacements. They can both link up well with their teammates and score assists to open up spaces. Exactly what Pep wants. With the João Felix one, I don't think I think I'm just letting him go. They paid like 120 million for him. So to buy him, considering, what was it, like a six-year contract or something? To buy him out of that now from Atleti, they're paying more than 120 million, which would be insane. So I don't think they're going to do it. But if they did, I agree. I think João Felix fits in perfectly. In fact, I made a video on it, which you can watch right here. I'm talking about how Felix could be the next Cristiano Ronaldo, but for the blue half of Manchester instead of the red. Um, as for Lautaro Martinez, this is a very interesting one because I actually think he's quite similar to Aguero. He's quite a similar player. He's not as clinical as Sergio Aguero was. Um, I'm not sure he's got as much to his game, but certainly fitting into this Manchester City team, I definitely think he's got a lot of good points about him. The problem is there's talks of Barcelona, apparently, still for Lautaro Martinez, doing very well at Inter. And if he's going to move to Manchester City, it's going to be big money and he's going to be the star striker. He's not going to sit on the bench to Gabriel Jesus. And I feel like that may spell the end for Jesus, or it may just mean that this kind of deal is a non-starter. Um, Akshat Sharma has said Haaland, uh, of course, we're going to talk about him, uh, or Kane will probably replace him. I'm not so sure any team is going to, if any team is going to spend like the 120 million on Harry Kane, I believe that Daniel Levy wants for the striker, you might as well just go and buy Haaland instead. He's like eight years younger, probably has stronger ankles. Um, so yeah, I can't, if any team is going to buy Harry Kane, they're probably just going to buy Haaland instead. So I, I think Kane will be brilliant in City. I don't think he's going to leave. Um, as for Erling Haaland, yes. The reason I say yes is because there isn't a team he wouldn't fit in. Of all the teams he's mentioned with, like City, obviously, there's Barcelona, Juventus, Real Madrid, he's currently at Dortmund. There isn't a team that doesn't take him and at least slightly adapt the way that they play to suit Haaland's style of play. But I think he can suit anyone. The guy can do everything. He's a stunning forward. And if Manchester City buy him, it's pretty much game over for the rest of the Premier League. Um, 
yeah, Haaland would be amazing as a replacement. Again, going to cost quite a lot of money, but if anyone's going to do it, it's going to be Manchester City. Um, and Candea said Depay can be an option. This will be interesting, purely because he's coming on a free transfer after his contract expires at Leon in the summer. Can play a little bit deeper and out wide and really would suit this kind of style of Manchester City we've seen the season of not having an out and out attacker. Like when Aguero and Jesus have been injured, um, Phil Foden's played there in that false nine kind of link up position. Gundogan as well, who's been on fire. Um, Raheem Sterling's also played there. Ferran Torres in the Champions League has played there too. So I think this is something that Guardiola teams and Manchester City, especially this season, are capable of. And I think Depay would definitely fit in well. Like a front three of Mares, Sterling and Depay all moving around, linking up play really nicely does work. Um, I just think they're going to go for more of an out-and-out goal scorer. Like, they haven't had one this season. They've made do with Gundogan. That's great. But in an ideal world, you would go into the new season with a couple of out-and-out strikers, not relying on your midfielder, age, what, 30, Gundogan, suddenly turning into the best goal-scoring season of his life. It's probably best to not bank on that and actually bring someone in who can score the goals. Um, Sne oh, Snehanch Chatuverdi. I think I pronounced that right. I said Andre Silva of Frankfurt could be a good option, but obviously they'll try to sign Haaland first. He would actually be quite a good option, Andre Silva of Frankfurt. I don't think he's at Manchester City's level. He's been linked with a few clubs. He's had a very, very good season in the Bundesliga. Um, unfortunately, pretty much his only good season out of the last few, including quite a few loan deals. Yeah, that Frankfurt level... Is, it, put it this way, if Haaland went to Manchester City, I think he'd be a good replacement for Haaland at Dortmund, considering what he's done this season at Frankfurt. I think Frankfurt, um, very lucky to have him. He's not that Manchester City level. He's not replacing Aguero kind of level. Uh, Russo Tennis said Erling Haaland would be the best choice, like we've mentioned, yeah. Or Phil Foden as a false nine next season. Again, like I mentioned before, Foden's phenomenal. He's such a good footballer, it's, it's insane. Um, but are they really going to start without a striker? Like, this is our main tactic. We're going to go false nine. We're going to hope that all the wingers in the midfield is chipping with enough goals to counteract the fact we don't have a striker on the pitch. I'm not sure. And on top of this, can you imagine if you're Gabriel Jesus? You're sitting there on the bench and you're like, OK, Aguero's gone. This is my time. Oh, wait, we're not even playing with the striker anymore. I can't imagine the guy would be too happy. Um, OK, so that's for um, who's going to replace Sergio Aguero. Next up, where is he going to go? Still got a lot to offer, I think. For those of you saying, oh, he always said he wanted to go back to Argentina and end his career there. I think now's the time to go. No way. He's 32. You go back to Argentina in like two, three, four years. I still think he's got quite a lot to offer at the top. And if anything, if he can do anything like Benzema, Suarez and obviously Ronaldo and Messi can, um, considering their ages, he's younger than all of them, Aguero can definitely keep going. Um, right, Adam Klinic has said, Real Sociedad, check this comment when he moves there. That's pretty ambitious. I mean, it'd be cool, but it's, it's pretty damn ambitious. If he's going to go to La Liga... I can't imagine Real Sociedad are going to be top of the pile. No offence to them, I think they're a great team with some fantastic players who'd link up really well with the likes of Ayathabal and um, uh, David Silva as well. Yeah, no, I can't say that. Also, Aguero's got ridiculous wages. I'm not sure the Sociedad are going to be playing that. Uh, God Bot has said he'll probably end up going to Atletico, but what a player. What a player indeed. Atletico is a bit romantic, like him returning to the place that he left to go to Manchester City 10 years ago. But Luis Suarez is there. And that is something that, especially with the Jao Felix and behind him, they definitely have that kind of one up front style of play. Last season, Atletico Madrid often went with a 4-4-2 uh, like they normally do. And they tried their hardest to play two strikers up front, whether it was Costa and Morata. And they had Jao Felix. And they've also got a few others like Vitolo sometimes plays up top as well. It just didn't work out. Costa left the club on a free. Morata's gone to Juventus. They definitely have one striker. Um, and I just don't think that it's either in Suarez or uh, Aguero's best interest to, to kind of fight it out and spend half the time on the bench. Um, Anamitra Sikdar has said FC Barcelona is his new destination. This one makes the most sense. Not only because he'd be great, not only because he'd play well alongside Lionel Messi, but on the Messi front, they want to keep him. They want to keep him happy. So if he comes to the board and says, hey, sign one of my best mates, Aguero, Barcelona are probably going to listen to him if it's going to make him happy and sign a new contract. So for that reason, out of all of them, I can see him going to Barca. Uh, last but not least, actually, Ivan Donson has said Inter Milan and Lataro will go to City. We mentioned that. Inter Milan is a good one. Uh, certainly, Ancante's um, 
liking for slightly older players who can do a role, who can do a job. But yeah, if Lataro and Lukaku stay, there's no way Aguero's going there. So yeah, I would say Barcelona out of all of them. But anyway, thank you so much for all of your comments in our community tab. Check out everything else we've got going on in OneFootball. And until next time, I will see you guys later. Thank you.